Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm here today to show you a very cool trick in SuperOffice 8. What I want to show you today is how you as an administrator can override the preferences that some of the users may have set and how you can set a base preference if that makes sense to your company. What you do is, as a user first, you go in and you go up to your personal settings, you choose preferences. In there you have a variety of preferences that you can set as a user. A lot of people are overlooking these and, and these can actually help you in your everyday usage of SuperOffice. As an example, let's take the one called Visual Effects menu and then there is one called Size of History List. This one decides how many companies you see in your recent companies uh, list, how many document templates that you previously saw that you will see in this history list. And let's say that Abigail, she wants to set it to maybe only two. She will then put it here and she will save. As an administrator, afterwards you will then go in to the main settings menu up here and you will go to setting and maintenance, which is the admin module. You go down to the preferences menu and as you see here, now we're on visual effects, but you even have more preference menus than, than what the, the average user sees. You have a lot of options as an administrator and this is very powerful to, to use correctly. Um, if you go to visual effects as we are, the size of history list, we see that H, AH, Abigail Hart, she has a user preference set already. And this is because we're allowing individual settings here. What we can do as an administrator uh, besides changing this one, we can double click this one and we can change the value for one user. We can also change it for a whole group or we can change it for the whole system. So we're now going to do a whole new setting, a uh, new preference, and we're going to say this applies to the whole system. We want a base setting. So the size of the history list we say should be five and we want to remove the preferences on lower levels, meaning someone like Abigail who already chose those settings and those preferences, they will be, be overridden by the administrator, which you'll see now. Now only the central database is left and set to five. We can also say that we don't want to uh, give the chance for users to, to allow individual settings in the future and we untick this one here. It's automatically saved and next time a user will go in, they will not be able to, to change this. This can have uh, a lot of usage in maybe your company. So go in there and, and look at the different preferences and try to have fun with it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you.